Number six, Ariane. Ariane has geese on her farm. She claims the mean weight of eggs from her black geese is less than the mean weight of eggs from her white geese. She records the weights of geese and grams from a random selection of geese, the data shown in the table below. Now, in order to test her claim, right, she performs a t-test at a 10% level of significance, and it is assumed that the weights of the eggs are normally distributed and the samples have equal variances. See? So now we need to state in words the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis, um, there's a couple ways to approach this. My general like hint is to always use the not, ¿cierto? So the not whatever they tell you. In this case, they tell us. She claims the mean weight of her eggs from her blackies is less than the mean weight of eggs from her whiteies. So with the idea of not, we're going to say weight of eggs. Weight of eggs, black keys, is not. Notice that here it's, it's, it's less than. I'm here putting is not less than the mean weight, probably. Yep, weight of eggs from whatever, the white geese, ¿cierto? All right, that is a lot of blah, blah. The biggest intuition I can give you is that, again, for null hypothesis, think of the word not. In this case, we put not before whatever the problem gives us, and the problem gives us is less than, ¿cierto? So, yes, we did take this whole thing, and all we did was add the word not. For real, that is, that is part A, okay? Cool. Part B. Calculate the p-value for this test. Now, here people get a little bit confused and freaked out because p-value sounds kind of weird. ¿cierto? The first couple of things you have to identify is what tests are we doing, what's the level of significance, and all that fancy stuff. So Ariane is doing a t-test. Now, this is a t-test for weights of x from black keys and weights of x from white keys. ¿cierto? And so you have to ask yourself, how many sample sizes do I have? I have two, right? I have the ones from black and the ones from white. So when you pull up your calculator and you go to stat test, t-test, a lot of people click t-test right away. But careful, man. This is a two-sample t-test. See, So take a moment, think about it, and really approach this slowly. ¿cierto? I can plug in my data. I can either plug in using data or using stats. ¿cierto? You're almost never going to use stats, so don't worry about it. You're almost always going to use data. So for data, it asks for the lists, frequency lists, if, the, if there's any, and this guy here. ¿cierto? Okay, so let's go to data, calc, I mean, sorry, data edit, and put our two lists. So the first list is going to be the white, sorry, it's going to be the black keys. So it's 136, 134, the one on top, of course, 142, 141, 128. 126 for the next one we got 135 you know what's going on at this point see i hope you're all having a wonderful day all right stat tests two sample t test and here we are ¿cierto? so for this u symbol ¿cierto? we're gonna put the one in the middle why are we putting the one in the middle because our null hypothesis is that um mean weight of from the white keys is not greater than the one from the black keys, ¿cierto? And white keys was my second list, ¿cierto? And so, since it's not, ¿cierto? We're going to test it like that, ¿sí? Is it pooled? We're going to put yes. Calculate. So, that is my p-value, ¿sí? So, for part B, my p-value is... Da, 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 0 0.176953, if I recall... Da, da, Yes. Okay. So that is for part B. That is my p-value. For part C, we need to stay whether the result of the test supports Ariana's claim. Justify your reasoning. So the the way you kind of like conclude this stuff is that you say p-value greater than level of significance implies, ¿cierto? implies that we reject HO, 
which is another way to say not supported by evidence. By evidence. Cool. So if that's the case, we reject the HO. If not, we accept the HO and do support the evidence. ¿cierto? So this is one of the few things you kind of have to memorize. Memorize it like that. See? And so let's see if it's true. My p-value was 0 0.176953. See? Now, is this greater than or less than what we're about to see? The level of significance. Level of significance, they said, is 10% level of significance. How do I turn 10% into a decimal? I pretty much divide it by 100. ¿cierto? So 10% is the same as 0 0.1. See? Another way you can look at it is that 100% is the same as 1. And 50% is the same as 0 0.50. So if you remember some of these couple key values, ¿cierto? you can figure out any percent as a decimal. See, 10% has to be 0 0.10. Cool. So is this true? The answer is yes, it's true. So if yes, it's true, we reject HO. Ariane's claim is not supported by the evidence. That is parts A, B, and C.